Well, this is it. I've been trying to make it here for about four years. This is, uh, I'm going to call it Little Fly Pond. Um, it's a teeny pond. It's only about five acres. I honestly don't know if I'm comfortable fishing. About a mile hike in here, a little over a mile hike. I don't know how comfortable I am fishing in here. Um, this... I don't know, it looks like turtle habitat to me, but... Well, I've hooked my first summer deep water brook trout. I'm using about a 25 foot indicator leader. And I've had some hits. I just, I gotta trip the indicators, the problem with this now. And hope that this fish doesn't get away. And hopefully he doesn't and it doesn't look like he has. It's a little guy. And he hit the blob. My first fish on a blob. It's the 3rd of September. I am at Round Pond in the White Mountains uh, in Western Maine. This is a little guy. I don't know that there's big fish in here, but... It's alright, at least they can be caught. And that's what I was here to figure out, is to see if they could be caught. So he hit a... He's, I got him on a tequila blob. It's about, I don't know, 10 inches or so. And I need to get the hook off and get him back in the water. Come on, bud. There we go. Back you go. So I'm using a let's make sure that yeah. So I'm using a, it's a leader that's, it's an indicator leader that's about 35 feet. I'm sorry, 25, it's at least 25 feet. Um, you know, as you can see, the problem is the indicator didn't trip when I set the hook. Um, but what I've been, I've been, you know, I've been trying to figure out how to catch these fish in the summer when they're deep and they can be caught so now I've got to figure out where my strike indicator was set and uh, kind of get it back up there. I was fishing, I caught him in about, oh, 20, I don't know, 22, 23 feet of water, I guess. All right. Well, it's about 4.30 and I have another one. Let's see, I gotta trip the indicator again. That's the bad thing about this, about this long, um, this long deal is that you gotta, and hope that they don't get off, you know. Um, This feels like a little nicer one. I am recording, right? I hope I'm recording. So 
So he looks like he also hit the blob. Uh, let's see if we can get him in here. Yep, hit the blob. I'd certainly like to throat pump these fish, but they're not big enough. This one's, this one might go 11. Ooh. So he's, he's quite deeply hooked. That is one of the problems when you're fishing with blobs is fish can be uh, can be quite deeply hooked and I'm gonna have to man okay well so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut the fly yeah he's I hate doing that, but oh well. All right, bud. There he is. Back you go. Well, I got another one. I was trying to figure out how to get it out there again. And uh, I was resetting the depth. And I got another one here. Yeah, I gotta figure out something for this because, you know, you risk these fish getting off when you, when, like this, just like now, you know, or you risk them, you risk losing flies because you're deeply hooking them. And he also took the blob. So I'm, I've been using a tequila blob as on the top dropper here. Um, and it's been good. I've got a coronamid below it, but nobody's hit the coronamid. It's all been, it's all been the blob. And once again, he's not quite as deeply hooked as the last guy. So hopefully I can Get the fly out. And I did, good deal, good deal. The fly came out, so that was good. All right, so. I don't know, he's probably 10, maybe 11, I don't know. A lot of little guys in this lake, in this pond, and we'll let him go here. There you go, bud. Well, it's uh, 6 p.m. Um, I've been fishing, I fished for about three hours, and uh, I caught three. Caught and release three, no, ten, all of them ten to eleven inches. Um, a lot of fish in here. I knew that. I knew they were going to be on the small side. Uh, I was fishing down about um, 22, 23 feet. Um, I was using this uh, 
I had two rods. I had my Echo Stillwater rigged up um, with a 25-foot uh, uh, indicator leader, and I basically had the dropper was a tequila blob. I don't know if you can see that or not. And the uh, the bottom fly, the point fly, was a uh, ice cream cone, um, red and black coronamid, and every one of the fish hit that tequila blob. Um, I missed several others. Lost, uh, you know, probably missed, missed or lost, oh, probably four or five others. Um, first fish I've ever caught on these blobs. Um, so it worked well for fishing deep. Um, I had my uh, my other rod, my Echo Lago, rigged up with uh, that uh, extremely fast seven weight sink. Um, and I had a, I basically had, this thing's tangled, but. I basically had another, I had a blob. Um, this is, I don't know, ham and cheese blob, I think they call it. Uh, as the top fly and then the uh, the point fly the point fly was a fab a foam arsed blob and biscuit um, and I never got a chance to use these the, I stuck you know once I got the indicator uh, getting strikes on the indicator I stayed with that so uh, this deep water indicator didn't work like I wanted the um, so I've got a, the, the little indicator I was using. I was using a sliding sinker, 16, uh, 16 ounce sinker, and basically it pulled the ind indicator under. So I think the answer is I gotta get a bigger indicator um, for this deep water fishing. But good afternoon, learned a lot, even caught a few fish. Um, it's not quite fall yet. I mean, it's coming in there. Now it's, there's fish rising out here now. Um, you know, evening's probably a good time. It's probably a very good time to be here. And I'm heading out, but uh, all in all, good, uh, beautiful place. Beautiful place. Um, enjoyed it, and until uh, next time. Yeah, I saw fish rise out here, and there was another one over there as I was coming in. Uh, a little after 6, 6.10 or 6.15. This would be a good time to fish this pond in the evening like this. You can't bring a canoe in here. Um, they don't allow that. There are, they don't. You can bring a canoe in here. You can't store them in here, though, like at a lot of places. Departing shot. Round Pond, Albany Township, Southwest Maine.